Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, welcome. It's nice to have you along. We are almost six months into our journey from the UK over to Australia, and I thought it would be a nice time to sit down and basically give you an update and a little catch up with where we are. Someone basically sent me a lovely message yesterday on my Instagram channel and have just basically seen that they are starting their process of their visas, they love watching my vlogs and basically if I could give them any advice or updates um, or any tips about them travelling over as a family. So I thought this would be a nice time to just incorporate it in with this update. And I know that it's easy to watch channels and all you see is sunshine and smiling faces, kids loving life and that is pretty much Australia, we all know that. However, it's not always reality and I feel like as a family of four, we have a very different experience to those that may come over as a couple without children and that can live in the city. And one of the main things that we notice coming over here is that we cannot afford to live in the city as a family of four. We're not really too keen on staying in an apartment, especially with two crazy kids. Having an outdoor space of any kind is certainly a benefit. So that really ruled out a lot of what we could afford to live directly in the city, which would be good for being closer to Ewan's work. He's a civil engineer and all his work is obviously in that area. However, as a family wanting to have a house with a bit of an outdoor space, then further out is definitely where you need to be looking. Skip forward to where we are now, we live in a place, um, it's a place called the Hills District and it's a very good area, very good for kids, however the houses are a lot older and one of the things I've really struggled with, especially coming from the UK and having our own house and having our own interiors, is that there's not really a lot you can do with the houses that are older here that we are renting. And I'm really struggling in the house that we're in. The decor is very dated and it's just not that exciting for me to be able to decorate with. There's not a lot of things you can do that doesn't involve ripping up a carpet or painting a brand new wall. Now another thing that we are pretty much struggling with at the moment is the fact that our rent is over a thousand dollars a week and that is a lot coming out of your bank straight away. In the house that we have, we have definitely come over with the UK mentality of always wanting a bigger house and a better car and in Australia I would definitely say that that is not a thing and being here for the last five and a half months anyway, I have definitely changed my mindset on that and actually I'm now looking for a smaller house, trying to keep a, a larger house clean and maintained in the heat here. It's pretty hard and it's pretty tough. So yeah, we are now actually looking at potentially moving to a smaller house and a house that's a bit more modern for us as a family. Now obviously coming over here from the UK, we've never been here before and we were really looking at online forums and YouTube videos about where to really stay that's a good suburb with families and one of the areas we were given was a place called Cherrybrook which is gorgeous, it's got really good schools in it and there's definitely a good family atmosphere going on and we basically dropped our pin there and tried to find accommodation around that area. Now unfortunately this also does come at a bit of a cost and for us the one thing that we can control at the moment is our rent and we've basically looked at other properties near to where we are a little bit further out but for those that have followed me for a while you will now know that I am not a city girl, I don't really enjoy the busyness of the city and how expensive it is and I just like to be a bit further out, a bit quieter and I like to have lots to do for the kids around and by that I mean more parks and playgrounds and nice walks and just a, a family community vibe and I feel like you get that more out of the city so when we have looked a bit further out we have recognised that we can reduce our rent by approximately $300 a week which, doing the math, that's over a thousand dollars a month that we can just be getting back to be in a smaller house that's much more maintainable and much more modern. And I feel like where we are in our journey right now, that's a decision that we are having to make. So right now in our journey, we are actually going to view a house today. Um, 
and like I've said it ticks all our boxes and hopefully it is what we're looking for because we're then going to be saving a bit of money. Now obviously we've only been in our house for six months and most rentals are usually you're tied into like a 12 month lease so we do have a fee to break away early however the money that we're going to be saving it's going to be hard for the short term but within a few months we would have clawed that back and I just feel like where we are right now and how we are really realistically feeling we have to make some changes otherwise we just can't feel like Australia is going to work for us. Ewan's job obviously means that his hours are long, he's away for a long period of time and at this moment in time we can't afford to have both our children in childcare. Now our next steps is PR which is permanent residency and we're not eligible for that for about another year and a half. Now you can get it before then but it does come at a bit of a cost otherwise the company that Ewan is employed with are willing to give us our PR after two years and that won't then come at a cost so it feels like that is the right decision to do. A year and a half is not a long time but when you are living every day and just feeling a lot of pressure and just not really enjoying it as much as you thought you would then it's pretty hard and that's a pretty much a long time so we have to make these changes just now so that we can save money, we can hopefully get them both into childcare and then I can start looking for work which is ultimately what I want to do here in Australia. One thing that's really important for us to say is that we're really keen to make this work. We could, we feel like we could really make a life here but how we are feeling right at this moment in time is that everything is just money right now and being in Sydney is very hard for things not to be expensive. Even roads to even go places are costing you money so it just feels like everything right now is against us and that is just me being completely transparent and where we are in this journey. I don't want anyone to be looking and thinking that we have it all together and that we are loving life over here because it is really good but it's also very hard and right now we're just finding that there's a lot of pressures and things that we really need to change for us to really enjoy this journey. Now another question I get frequently is about Sydney and if it's where we think we are going to be staying as a family. I have touched on this in a previous video but my honest answer is no. I don't think Sydney is for us as a family. I would like to personally explore other areas such as Perth or Brisbane where I feel like all our boxes are ticked and it's just not as expensive to live. So that is a, a, a thought for us for the future but in this moment in time for the next year and a half yes we will be living in Sydney and we really want to enjoy Sydney for what it is and what it has to offer and the only way we can do that is to save a bit more money and actually go out and enjoy it and experience it. And that is why I feel like us going to look at other houses is basically the best option that we can do right now. And hopefully going forward, things will start to ease up. They will feel a bit better. In terms of how we're both feeling just now, yeah, it's, ve it's very lonely. I still feel very lonely. I have such lovely friends that I see when we can. But in terms of just how we are both feeling right now, it's just very different to what we're used to in the UK. And Obviously being almost six months in I'm very much missing a lot of my friends and family as is Ewan and yeah it's just it's just a bit of a hard time. I feel like this is the stage that everyone talks about and the stage that you just have to get through. The six month stage is understandably going to be that time where you feel like home is just easier, not necessarily better, just easier and it's almost like the easy option because you can go back to what you know but we've always agreed that we're never going to do that until we have literally tried everything over here and we feel that nothing works and I hope that makes sense. Um, so yeah we're very still very early into our journey and these are things that we are, I feel like we're making the right decisions. Yes I have been very upset lately, I've just been feeling this roller coaster journey but I also do think where we're currently living it's quite isolated and there's not really a lot of walks that I can just literally have on my doorstep and meet other mums. And unless I'm basically at a soft play or a park, then I'm not really getting that opportunity. So I'm hoping that the area that we are looking at seems to be a bit more of a community vibe and hopefully that basically will help in how we're feeling as well. So I don't want to ramble on any more at this moment in time. I will try and answer some more kind of questions and give you more of an update throughout this vlog. We are heading off just now to view this house. I will take you all along with us and hopefully 
it's as good as it looks in the pictures from previous videos you'll have seen if you have a look at this one um, finding a rental in Sydney we were really struggling because nothing looked like it realistically nothing looked like the pictures when you went to view it so I'm really hoping because this is more modern that it will be nicer and I'm also hoping it's not busy but we live in Sydney so I just know that's not going to be the case but anyway let's get going <laughs> was very busy I feel like I knew it was going to be busy but the house itself was actually really nice and it's a nice surprise actually going and everything is basically as the pictures it was really really nice it was very modern and um, very neutral and very clean so we are really keen to apply for it so we spoke to the estate agent and he was really really nice and gave us a good kind of rundown of the area and one of the things he said is that there's a lot of British in this area, um, a lot of kids, a lot of families and we've just come to the local park um, just to get a little feel from the place and there's definitely lots of kids around, um, something that you notice kinda, as soon as you come in here, there is definitely a lot of families, um, so yeah I mean so far it feels really really nice, it feels like we're more suited to here than where we are. Um, so yeah, next steps is basically to apply, um, so we have to go and do this online. Like I said before, the actual, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, the actual price of the house um, is actually very very good for standard and quality, so I think for us to proceed with it just now we might have to offer a little bit more which is really frustrating, it's something that in Sydney definitely not a lot of but it saves you then having to miss out for the sake of 10 or 20 dollars and have to go and view another like 10 or 15 properties so I think we're probably in a position that we might offer just a little bit more um, along with our application. last thing I would really say is that if you are coming out to Sydney and you have got a family then don't feel the pressure to literally live in the city it's not it's really not livable if you're a family in my opinion and I think living a bit further out there's so many family things that go on um, for us anyway I actually much prefer being further out and we've looked at areas such as Kellyville um, and one of the houses that we looked at um, that we were meant to be looking at today as well we actually went to view it two days ago, um, not actually to go in and view it, just to drive past it and I'm so glad I did because it was literally on a main road and with us having two young kids that's just really not something we are looking for. So I was able to straight away say well I'm not even going to go and view that one um, and that's how we've ended up where we are today. So yeah places like Kellyville um, are really modern as well, um, ponds are really modern and where we where we were looking at Cherrybrook is lovely and lots of family things but just the houses are a bit more older so yeah please reach out if you want me to give you some of my you know kind of own experiences on areas to live in as a family but um, yeah hopefully this vlog has given you a good understanding of where we are um, and how we're feeling. Here goes! This gives you an idea of what an application kind of consists of. Um, so just a few pages.
basically asking about everything about you and your income, your partner's income, um, references, employment details. So it does take a while, but you can save it and come back to it. And then we can either attach our CV on here or we can attach it at the end. Um, or obviously you can send in an email as well. So I'm just finalising our family CV to attach to our application. I thought I'd just quickly show you. I know a lot of people ask me about it. I make this on Canva um, and you can use different templates. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. But I just add in some pictures of us, our family home in the UK, so they can see how it looked. Um, a little bit of information about us as a family. And then down here is all about employment. Um, basically our income as a family after superannuation and basically our financial status just lets the renter have sorry the landlord have confidence that payments will be made and obviously the, the home will be looked after as well so you don't have to do this we have felt like when we've done it it's all we've always got nice feedback about it um, and I know if I was you know renting my home out to someone I think it would just be a nice thing to know so yeah that's how we do it Morning everyone, so I'm popping on very quickly because we have had an email, um, Ewan has just sent me this through, it says Hi Ewan, I just wanted to confirm that I have spoken to the owners and great news is the owner has approved the application for the above property. So we have got the house, honestly I am a shocked because I mean when we got this house we looked at 20 plus houses and we applied for two that we got denied on. And yeah, we have it, which is amazing. So I'm so chuffed. I feel so relieved because it now means that we will be saving probably, in fact, about $300 per week. So that is a huge, huge saving. And also the house is so neutral inside and light and airy. I can't wait to take you and show you all. So we now need to get the ball rolling with that and that's going to take probably a few weeks anyway. However, I will keep you all updated. In other news, it's my birthday today and the first birthday that I am away from home and away from family and friends. But I am getting to spend it with Isla and Ren. Um, I've also woke, woke up choked with the cold, which is not great. Um, but yes, we are getting to spend the day together and then we will have a nice family dinner tonight. However, I, so currently it's nine o'clock in the morning um, and I've already had some messages from home and I've not opened them yet because I feel like I want to open some of them in here and just remember this little part. But I was shocked at that because usually Everyone is going to their bed and technically it wouldn't be my birthday till tomorrow in the UK. So it was nice to wake up um, and already people have sent some messages. So first one, um, I'll go into it. Oh, my mother-in-law's just sent me a message as well. So first one is, so I actually haven't opened any of these. Um, I don't know if you can see there, but they're still showing. I've left them closed for just now. So first one is from, oh, it's from my sister. Um, happy birthday to you, <laughs> happy birthday to you, She's happy birthday my recess, happy <laughs> birthday to you. Hooray, <laughs> Oh, bless her. Hooray. How nice is that? I love these little videos. You know, it's really hard, obviously, being away from home. These people would usually come to your house, but isn't it nice that nowadays we have, we're able to just feel like we're there anyway, like with videos and FaceTimes. So next one is my mum. It's hilarious, she sent me a video. Um, Hi, honey, happy uh, birthday. I hope you're having a lovely time. I'm missing oh. you loads, but... Have a cocktail on us. Definitely. Have a brilliant birthday, Kimball. Oh. Love you. Love you. Bye. Oh, love you. Bye. 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 Oh. Oh, she's also sent me one from the camera. Oh. So, okay, I'm going to watch this. I might be swearing in it. Probably will be swearing in it. 
Let's watch. It's Grandma. Happy birthday. Oh. Hope you're all right. Seen all your photographs. Are absolutely lovely. You take care, darling, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye. Thanks. Grandma, happy birthday. Hope you're all right. Seen all your photographs. are absolutely lovely. You take care, darling, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye. Thanks. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm on for my papa as well. I don't think I can open that one right now. God, I don't think she'd have one from my grandma. Oh God, I'm missing so much. Sorry. It's grandma, happy birthday. Hope you're all right. Seen all your photographs are absolutely lovely. You take care, darling, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye. Thanks. Oh God. Sorry guys, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh. I'll be back. I love you so much. Thank you, darling. We're gonna have fun today. Wait, but what's my my ear? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 